Hey YouTube, I had another idea of a video um, that I wanted to try to make and it was about uh, narrow roads without lane markings and how the car is not quite biasing correctly with regards to other oncoming traffic. So I've got this little uh, road here. Um, I've got a route plan just to show you it's going down this road here, um, but there's no center line. And between builds, the way the car you know, biases seems to keep changing. And when there's an opposing car coming at you, so here I am at an unprotected left, it needs to creep. Whoa, my gosh, there was no way it could see that um, when it was going for it. <laughs> I mean, it was ended up being clear, but there was no way it could have seen. Um, and there are speed bumps on this road too, and you can see they're properly mapped. But like, like uh, coming up here on the other side of this intersection, I'm not sure if it's gonna hit just right. It, it, it takes up too much of the road and the oncoming car is like, dude, get out of my way. Um, now here at the stop sign, it kind of knows how to bias to the right a little bit. Um, okay, that, that was just fine. Now we got another four way intersection here and it's gonna have to go around this Amazon truck, which it will probably do fine. Very slow and inconsistent uh, there in the middle of the intersection. I don't like that commit very jerky whoa try to find its way here see what i mean now it's not even very late on that speed bump it started to slow down but very late um in this situation i've got some cars here that it's following and it's it's behaving no better when it really all it needs to do is do what the car in front of it's doing okay this is a split little road here with the intersection it's got to check the other side of this large median here and it was wide open but, I, whoa, see what I mean? It, it just can't find where it needs to be. It's got the drivable space very accurately mapped, but it, like if there was an oncoming car, he would see me as driving in the middle of the road. And very inconsistent there. And I'm gonna hit that again with the camera snapshot. Okay, so that was round one. Um, I, and, and I'm gonna try to do a couple of these rounds on this road just to g give a little bit more data and a little bit more capturing of where I wanna go here. So I'm going to cancel that route. I'm going to throw in another one back to the FSD return. And you can see it's mapped the reciprocal course on this single road. I'll get it going here. Now we have some oncoming traffic here that is probably going to make me uncomfortable. Well, it turned down the way. So let's see what happens here. So once again, I feel like I'm in the middle of the road here. Speed bump. At that time it slowed down appropriately. You got all the way down to 18. Normally it's slowing down to 17. So that didn't quite slow all the way down. Amazon truck is now coming across. He's got his hazards on, but I am in the middle of the road. If he were looking at me, he'd be like, Are you going to make room? He, he got out of his truck. But I'm treating this like a, a, a full on dirt road right now. If a car was coming from my left to turn, he wouldn't have room. It's wide open so I'm just letting it do what it, it wants and just show you the hesitancy it has here in this intersection okay and then it saw the Amazon guy here now he's letting me go so I'm disengaging there um, it did see the pedestrian but the pedestrian waved me on and, and the car had stopped in the intersection there all right trying to re-engage to show you guys a little bit interesting auto steer temporarily unavailable it keeps coming on and off all right, and then it weaves into the middle of the road again. I, it's done this better than it is right now. 10.9 was the same, which is what gave me the idea to, to start recording this as maybe a test scenario because there's a lot of roads like this in the world. I know Chris at Dirty Tesla has got a dirt road. Uh, he just probably didn't have a lot of oncoming traffic. All right, so see this Jeep that's oncoming? I am in the middle of the road. and i had to pull over it, it it was in the road now granted there might have been room but i was taking up way more than my share of the road there um interesting i i'm so i'm not quite sure what the answer is here uh other than perhaps taking the distance between the drivable space in red putting an imaginary maybe light yellow uh line in the middle 
and treating that as your left edge bias. That's the only thing I can think of because obviously every road is different. And, and we've been talking a lot about winter time, snow. I'm gonna do a little U-turn and try to do, to do this again. Um, let it remap and then re-engage. With snow banks on the edge of the road, um, okay, it stopped there. I just tapped the accelerator because there's a car behind me. Don't know why it stopped there. Okay, so this time going at this intersection, it stopped and it should be creeping. Okay, there's a car coming. It should see that. This car is turning left. Both of these cars are coming in. This is good. Didn't mark any of them blue, but it should proceed very carefully. God, this guy's behind me. He's going to get annoyed, but I'm just going to let it go here. All right, I had to tap the accelerator. It just wasn't doing it. Okay. Yeah, the impatience on this road, it's almost like it's completely untrained. Uh, and it, and it, it just behaves different than out there on the highway. You've seen, you saw yesterday's video, Memorial Park. Maybe they're training for my Memorial Park drives or something, but little roads like this, I don't drive many of them. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't record film on many of them. Here we go again, very slow and then creeping across. I feel like I'm in the middle of the road, very late for that speed bump. Gosh, it sees it, it had it mapped, it just didn't decide to slow down. All right, double intersection again. Stopped at the stop line perfectly. Now it's just gotta do the creeping and decision-making and commit here, it's wide open. I can see clear as day, but it's acting like it is very unsure. A lot of trees, a lot of things it has to interpret. Okay, okay, look, we got an oncoming car again. I'm in the middle of the road. Okay, so I, I, that's what I'm talking about. It definitely is not getting out of the way in time. That, that oncoming driver needs to see me get out of the way. If I'm driving in the middle of the road when I'm by myself, that's fine. If I see a car up there, I'm going to move over and bias to the right. That's the way we would do this. Um, I... I'm, I'm not exactly sure why they would program it like this, or perhaps what we're witnessing is they haven't programmed it. Um, and this is just the way the neural networks handle it without specific training. Um, so just in the nature of my love of repeat tests, I'm gonna keep doing this one more time each direction to try to get a little bit more data to show everybody and to and report the bad ones. As soon as I engage, it goes to the middle. It, I, very slow on that speed bump again. I, now, you can see this car in the distance uh, with the forward facing cam for sure. And it just kind of jumped over to the left a little bit. It couldn't see if there's a car getting ready to turn right, but yet I'm using the whole road. Now look, he's getting ready to come all the way across and I'm gonna have to take over, I, I guarantee it. Okay, all right, I had to just do that because he needed room. It, it wasn't proceeding, it was waiting, but it was waiting in a spot that it was completely blocking the road. All right, re-engaged, back to the middle of the road. Nobody has, nobody's coming, which is okay. Very late on the speed bump. Got a pedestrian to the right that's too far away. Probably not going to be a factor. Very slow. I'm in the road now. Just go. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get any more opposing traffic going this direction because there's a train you can see in the distance, uh, probably visually with the camera. The car can't quite see it yet. Um, but I'll try to get the uh, forward-facing camera view of it to see if it's still rendering it as moving uh, tractor trailers. If it has a white line at the stop sign, it seems to know to use that a little bit. I got a car from the right, it needs to wait. Okay. I had a stop sign. There was no, it's not like I, he needed to wait on that. I mean, it wasn't committing with any sort of aggressiveness to, to allow that car to, it wasn't accelerating with aggressiveness to get in front of that car. Okay, uh, so here's the train at the train tracks. I'm gonna do another U-turn here. 
I've got flashing red lights uh, that are just stop lights rendered and tractor trailers that occasionally pop in is the way it's rendering it. All right, last leg. Same exact thing. A little bit wider road here, but it still was hogging a little bit more than it needed. White line at the stop sign. Needs to slowly go around these bushes. I can't see anything yet. Okay, I can see clear left. It's clear, so it can go. All right, opposing cars here. This is exactly what I'm worried about. Okay, I just very light tension. Okay, when I re-engage, it wants to go to the middle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it wants to just go to the middle. So I. That take control immediately is it thinks I'm too close to the edge of the road, which may be part of the problem too, because I never left the road surface. It may have a certain buffer on the right edge of the road that it needs that is too big. Uh, so maybe it thinks it's in the middle of the drivable space, but it's not. Okay, it won't go on now. Maybe it thinks I'm too close to the edge. If I go over here to the middle, look, look at that. Oh, look, it lets me engage it when I'm not next to the edge of the road. Okay, I had to do it again. Huh. I think that it won't let me engage it when it thinks I'm too close to the edge of the road. I'm gonna test that up here on the other side of this intersection. Corrective steering. I've got that option turned on, but I'm on the road. Let's see if it'll let me engage. It did that time, but it definitely biases over to the middle of the road once I turn it on. Way too fast. Yeah, it's delayed that latency on that speed bump. If it's gonna slow down to 17, it needs to slow down a few seconds, about another second earlier. Okay. Well, that's all I've got for this road. Hopefully you can see what I was talking about. I'll try to render this for you guys and let you take a look. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is my third video on FSD Beta 10.10. .10. The first one was Memorial Park First Impressions Drive. I did an unprotected left video this morning. And then now um, this uh, City Streets with no lane markings in the center video. Uh, I'll try to get together for you today. Have a great day, everybody.